So is Prime. Status report. Not good. Just as our father Prime has predicted. Unicron and his minions have arrived. Prima. The protoforms have been successfully secured aboard our ship in case evacuation is necessary. But Noro Prime has detected another wave of Unicron's minions incoming. Do we have to fight? We haven't even seen Unicron's full power yet. If he's as strong as our father Prime has said he is, then I don't think we can do much against him. We have no choice, brother. An evacuation is not an option right now. We must fight the darkness! Two all sparks become one! Brothers, join me! Fight the darkness! Fight for our survival! And fight for our father Primus! Who made the ultimate sacrifice and became the core of this planet to allow life to grow here! He is our father! And we must do everything in our power to defend him! Quintus Prime, Alchemist Prime, Micronus Prime, fall back to safe positions. The rest of us will hold the line here. Ah, Liege Maximo, help! <laughs> I've got to use that stasis dart more often. No! Don't kill that Predacon! What do you think you're doing, Amalgamous Prime? I need to scan this Predacon's body so that I can transform and assume its shape. You can kill it now. Finally. They're retreating. Quintus, Alchemist, Micronus. Meet me and our brothers and our sisters in our ship's quarters. We need to discuss how to defeat this menace. So, what do you suggest on how we may be able to deal with Unicron? Alchemist and I have conducted studies on the Predacons, as well as Unicron, and we've noticed some strange patterns. We've come up with a somewhat plausible theory. We know that Unicron, like Amalgamous Prime, can also transform, and that when in his robot mode, he would be bigger than Cybertron, meaning he could easily end this fight with a single strike if he really wanted to. But he isn't. Why? Unicron is a being of pure darkness, and he is sending his minions to fight us instead of fighting us himself. We think that it is because of the light energy that you carry. The Matrix? I don't even know what it really does. Why would Unicron want to avoid it? Not really avoid. Unicron fears the Matrix in the hands of a being of light. He fears anything resonating with light energy, and because the Matrix has some of the power of his old foe, Primus himself, well, you can guess the rest. You mean... the Matrix could destroy Unicron? Well, we don't know for sure, but it's our best bet that we can think of. It's the only reason that we can think of as to why Unicron isn't trying to kill us with his own hand. So what? I used the Matrix to destroy him. Then what? What if I were to open one of my space portals and you use the Matrix to knock Unicron into the portal? Unicron would be severely injured, trapped in a pocket of space nothingness, for the rest of eternity. Not that I doubt your abilities, Vector Prime, but have you ever opened a portal that big? Uh, I I'm afraid not. We're all still so young, and we do not know the full extent of our true potential yet. 
We will all be pushed to our limits in this fight. I don't really have anything of use. All I have is a iron blaster and an energon axe. I'm nothing special like all of you are. Don't feel down about yourself, Noro Prime. You just haven't figured out what your special power is yet. You're our youngest sibling. Be patient. He's right, Noro. But now I have a Predacon mode, if that's any help. We must use every advantage we have. What if Vector Prime flies up near Unicron, accompanied by a Malgamus Prime for air support? Opens a space and time portal, and then Megatronus Prime teleports you both out of there before I use a blast of the Matrix energy to send Unicron into the depths of the space portal. After that, Vector Prime will close the portal, and Unicron will be no more. Yeah. I agree with that plan. Yeah, me too. As do I. Same here. If there's anyone with a different plan, now is your time to speak up. Then it's decided. We will... We'll discuss this on the go! Move out, Prime! That's a big predicon. I'm slightly impressed. If we split up, we'll all have better luck of staying clear of his attacks. Agreed. You and her primes, split up! Enough of this! It's now or never, brothers. Unicron's just gonna send predicon after predicon. We need to strike Unicron now! We're ready. We'll fight till all are one. Noro Prime, you must realize that we must fight. It's not that, it's just... I wish there was another way without having to shed energy on. I feel like this fight won't be over for a long time. And the fact that you have all your special powers and special weapons and I'm just me... You know... But I'm with you all. I'll fight if you all are. You were the one who shook each one of our hands, first after our birth, and then. You aligned us all together as one. No matter what happens today, I'm proud of you. Now, is every Prime ready? Alright, the time is now. Vector Prime, me and the other Primes will try and get the fight on the ground, so the Paracons aren't drawn towards you or Amalgamous Prime. But I can't make any guarantees. Don't worry, Prima. We'll be okay. Primes, hold the line. Let this be the end of this fight. Blast! Open another portal quickly. You need to put all the energy into it. Make the portal as big as possible. That's not going to fit Unicron inside. Quickly, we're running out of time. I know. Great work, Vector Prime. But it looks like we've got incoming. Primer, Quintus has a theory that when you shoot Unicron into the portal, he'll be sent far away from his Predacons. His psychic link with the creatures will be deactivated, thus destroying the Predacons in the process. Then let's test that theory. Kill all our one! Your 
Prime. Close the portal! It's done. We survived. Great work, Prime. Looks like you could all do with a recharge. Hold still. Thank you, my harness. We did it! Then let it be said and written in history that on this day we accomplished the impossible and that the end of days won't come anytime soon. Brothers and sisters, I have some troubling news. Lay it on us, Alpha Trion. We've killed Unicron. We can handle whatever you're about to tell us. Yeah, I mean, we're such a close team and all. We've got each other's backs no matter what comes at us. Like Nexus Prime said, we can handle anything. The Covenant of Primus has foretold future events on a massive scale. The Covenant of Primus? That book that tells the records of the past? Not just the past, Noro Prime. It is also able to tell present and future events. I see that Unicron... <gasps> ...is alive and mad, and he will return. <gasps> but... But how is that even possible? We sent him to a different dimension entirely, with nothing inside of it for him to destroy or interact with. How could he possibly summon any energy to return to this dimension? Alpha Trion, how long have you known about this? How long has it been since you found out Unicron was going to survive our attack? I... I knew since Unicron arrived here. And you didn't think to tell us! Why was this issue not raised beforehand? Alpha Trion? Quiet. You've been endangering Quiet. us this whole time by not telling us. Alpha Trion, why? Why didn't you tell us this before? We could have come up with a different plan to kill Unicron and make sure he wouldn't be able to come back. I wanted to tell you. Believe me, I did. But I couldn't. If you know what the future holds and you don't like how it looks, you may try to change the present. Thus altering the future into an entirely different reality, and suddenly the future that should have happened no longer will. Believe me, if we tried any other plan, there's a very high chance we'd all be dead by now. I feel an endless amount of guilt for not telling you. But I did what I thought was right. I understand, brother. As do I. I'm sorry, Alpha Trion. Yeah. Me too. Sorry, Alpha Trion. But I blasted Unicron with the Matrix. He should remain trapped in the portal, if not trapped and dead too. Unicron possesses the alternative to your Matrix. He has control of the Dark Spark. Something that can alter the very fabric of reality and allows him to take control of individuals, which is how he gained control of the Predacons. He can use the Dark Spark to summon energy and escape the dimension we trapped him in, so that he is able to return to this reality. Alpha Trion, the Covenant of Primus, is there nothing you can tell us? I... I don't know. Knowing what is to come is a heavy burden on me. It doesn't have to be your burden, Alpha Trion. We'll all help you with whatever needs to be done. Alright. I can only see so much, but what I know for sure is that in a few billion years, I will train someone called Orion Pax, who is unaware that he is a Prime and a future bearer of the Matrix. 
Orion Pax will be killed and rebuilt into a soldier called Optimus Prime. I can see that he is the leader of a future faction, faction. in a soon to come soon to civil come. war. Civil I will divide Cybertron into factions, and that Unicron will make his return to the time of Optimus Prime. This, uh, th this Optimus Prime, I, uh, I feel like there's some significance to him. I, uh, I feel, I don't know, maybe I should meditate on this later. You alright? You alright? I, uh, yeah, yeah, I'm alright, just a bit dizzy. When Unicron returns, he will spawn at the far end of the universe, meaning he will need to travel across it to get back here. Gotta admit, Unicron's got some serious determination if that's what he's gonna do. I'd have given up by then. What? I was just saying. Even I couldn't be angry at someone for that long. Plus, I hate being patient. Patience. Ugh. It's like the worst thing ever. Who even thought up that word, patience? It's such an insult to this universe. Alpha Trion, how long do we have till Unicron returns? Around four to five billion years, give or take a few million? Yep, I would have definitely given up by then. There is hope. Sometime after the Civil War, Optimus Prime ends up on an organic-like planet called Earth. It is there that he and his team establish a base there. Unicron passes by this planet Earth on his journey back here. I say we build something for the future, so that he can use it for when Unicron passes by. Alpha Trion, will this stop Unicron? I can't say for sure. But if we don't build something of future use against Unicron, then the odds of Earth's survival when he passes are less than 2%. At least if we build something for Optimus to use against Unicron, it will give him, his team, and Earth a fighting chance of survival. Unicron is a planet killer. If he destroys Earth, then Optimus Prime will die. And the line of Primes will be no more. Unicron will become unstoppable. Universe will fall victim to his unfolding chaos. Is there no other way to kill Unicron? I mean, can't we go into the universe that Unicron is trapped in now and use the Matrix of Leadership to destroy both Unicron and this dark spark, you say? No. To go into a reality where only Unicron lives? Well, we'd be fighting on his terms. Trust me when I say that. Only the Matrix can destroy Unicron, and only a worthy Prime can wield it. Earth is still a young planet. In fact, it isn't even at a stage to support life yet. I shall travel there and build a weapon of unimaginable power to ensure Unicron's destruction. We'll all go with you. No, this was my fault. I must make up for the fact that I kept these secrets from all of you. We're with you, brother. Cybertron will be left defenseless if you come. No. I'll ensure that doesn't happen. I'll use my Emberstone artifact Primus gave me to seed life here. We'll go to Earth, build that weapon, and by the time we've returned, life will already have begun here. We're with you, brother, but, uh, we'll need some troops in case we run into anything dangerous along the way. Plus, our starship needs repairing from the damage from that Predacon. Oh, and we'll need a crew of construction workers to help build the weapon, too. Then I'll also make some life who will grow into warriors and a Constructicon force. They will be known as the Knights of Cybertron. We'll go with you and will save the future of the Cybertronian race and those who will come to live on Earth. And from that point on, we set off in search for the planet called Earth, and our quest began to build the weapon of tomorrow.
here? Yes. This is the place, Primer. I know it in my spa. This is the right place. Alpha Trial, sir. Me and my team have completed plans for the weapon, and I believe I may have found an appropriate location for it. I believe below this ledge would be an ideal spot. That is why I have landed us here. Then let's get to work. Over time, the Archaean Era ended on Earth, and the lineage of the Thirteen Primes broke apart, eventually ending. But the return of Eudacron was coming, and all we could do was hope that we did enough to aid the future Transformers living on Earth, and save them from the chaos that we had endured. Desperately hoping that what we had done those precious days saved their tomorrow. And you're certain there's no other way to solve this, Optimus Prime? I'm afraid not, Mr. President. I've had my Autobot Tactical Command Team look at this situation, and they can only see one possibility. This one. The Decepticons won't back down. Not now. Starscream is too eager to get his hands on the Allspark, and that is why we've had to change base location. The Decepticons knew our previous base location, and with that information in their favor, it had us at a massive disadvantage. The Allspark must be protected by our Cybertronians, and I'm not sure how much longer we can protect it from him and his Decepticons. Say this plan works. How will it be executed? We don't have much expertise when it comes to building massive escort starships, especially ones designed to incorporate rooms big enough for several stories tall robots. And that is where my team comes in. Mr. President, meet my scientist and part-time wrecker, Wheeljack. Greetings, Mr. President. Since this is the first time meeting you in person, I'd like to introduce myself better, but we're a little pressed on time right now. Nice to meet you too. No need to explain. The Pentagon informed me that this situation exceeded the severe threat level by tenfold. So what do we know so far? Not long ago, the new Decepticon leader Starscream stole an unstable shard of the unknown Energon that he consumed into his body, which has been making him more and more powerful with each passing day. We recently got into a firefight with Starscream. Optimus Prime is the most powerful Transformer on Earth, and even he struggled to fight Starscream. Optimus returned to base that day with the worst injuries he's ever suffered since Megatron was in command of the Decepticons. What I'm trying to say is that Starscream is becoming a bigger threat, and by bigger, I mean on a scale of one to Megatron. He's getting towards the end of where Megatron was. Heck, he's gotten so strong that some of our Autobots have changed their alt modes and appearances just so they're not recognized and attacked by him. A strategy some of the Decepticons have also taken on to fool us, like Barricade Brawl and even Starscream himself. So, you think there's going to be an invasion soon? I don't think anything, Mr. President. I know there's a pending invasion. Starscream's been sending expendable troops into battle and each one has been looking for the location of the Allspark. Optimus has neutralized each threat Starscream has sent our way so far in hopes that it would deter and give them the message that the Allspark won't be handed over to them. But it looks like they're not going to back down. Take a look. Give up where you can, Prime. Once we get the Allspark, Starscream's gonna get a of you. You're gonna die, Prime. You're gonna die. Sooner or later, Starscream's going to find us and is going to come looking for the Allspark. It's only a matter of time, and time is something that seems to be running out for us. We need to get the Allspark off-world as soon as we can. There's nowhere safe on Earth for it anymore. Like I said, we don't have the technological advancements to build a supersized starship of your scale. Actually, we already have one, well, what's left of one. 
You mean the one that you came in from Cybertron? Yes, it brought the bulk of our Autobot forces to Earth, and it's as big as a Decepticon ship, the Nemesis. Codename, Byzantium. Byzantium shares the same model as that of the Ark, and that of many standard Cybertronian evacuation ships that were used in the exodus of Cybertron, similar to that of the Ark. Meaning if the Decepticons decide to pursue us on this mission, fingers crossed that they don't, then we have the firepower to repel them and whatever troops they send our way. Wheeljack, I've read the files on your Xanthium starship. Government records state that it was beyond repair. What's the extent of the damage to it? At first, yes, I thought the Xanthium was too far gone. But having another look over it tells me there might just be some hope left. Me and the other wreckers examined the ship, and we've come up with the repair list. <clears throat> Anti-air cannons have sustained damage to the power cores. Laser turrets have damaged their armor. Landing gear isn't in the greatest condition. Few rear thrusters need to be replaced, and there's burn marks, bullet holes, and explosion damage to certain parts of the ship. We'll also need some of your energy sources to form into energon cubes if we're even going to make into orbit. We could use the AllSpark to make energon, but it would create radiation energy spikes in the surface so the Decepticons would easily be able to find where we are hiding it. I've been in touch with all the governments of the world. They agree with this plan as long as you can pull it off. First time we've all actually agreed on something, actually. Run the plan by me again. The Xanthium is located inside the largest nest base there is. It's in the center of the Atlantic Ocean. We fix the Xanthium, load the AllSpark on board, and fly into space before shooting the AllSpark into the space bridge to keep it away from Starscream. Simple, right? Optimus Prime, you said you did this before on Cybertron. How'd that turn out? I shot the AllSpark into space, but Megatron pursued it here to Earth with his Decepticons. However, if we're able to occupy the Decepticons long enough to buy the AllSpark time to get through to the other side of the space bridge, then we're confident we can do this. After the mission on Cybertron, I was blamed by Autobots, Decepticons, and Neutral Transformers alike for bringing upon the beginning of the end for us Cybertronians. Without the AllSpark, we cannot create Energon. Without Energon, we cannot survive. If we are to survive this again, we must find other means of Energon Refinery. We'll figure something out, Prime. Don't worry yourselves. And I suppose you have a team willing to go on this mission into space? We do. Wheeljack? Yes, we have Autobots. Ultra Magnus, Whirl, Sideswipe, Brawn, Bumblebee, Hot Rod, RC, Cliffjumper, Roadbuster, Top Spins, Gids, Mudflap, Jolt, and the newest members, Longarm and the ex Decepticon Drift, who are all going to be on board the Xanthium during the mission. But me, Optimus Prime, and the other Autobots will remain here to guard the base and any further attacks on this planet. The ex Decepticon Drift. Do you trust him? Drift has been known for violence against the Allbots in his past, but he has come to prove that the worst of enemies can become the most powerful of allies. Yes, I do trust him. While I would rather take part in this mission, the tactical command team has looked logically at which Allbots should go on this mission and which Allbots should stay here. I trust their decision if they believe I am best suited to stay behind. Besides, they have Brig Prime going with them. With a Prime here and a Prime there, the possibility of a Decepticon attack at either place is greatly reduced. Alright then, I'll inform the world's governments what's going to happen. I'd say you should get to the repairs on your ship. Mr. Mr. President? President. What scrap is he gonna feed us now? I don't know, Barricade, but I think it's some big news. I think he's actually close to finding the AllSpark this time. <laughs> My loyal Decepticons! Your fearless leader is closing in on the AllSpark, and soon it will be ours, and we will claim the Earth 
and drain it of its resources and finally return and rebuild Cybertron in our image. This is the age of the Decepticons. No one, not even Optimus Prime, will stand in our way. Our Decepticon agent makeshift will infiltrate as one of the Autobots and will be giving us updates on the Autobots' status. This way we can know exactly where the Autobots are and what they're planning to do. I can't wait. When do I start? I don't care how honorable the Autobot code is supposed to be. I see a Decepticon on this mission, I kill it. Simple as. No mercy. No trying to be a hero. Just death to the enemy, like we always should do. I'm gonna get revenge of that son of a glitch Freddy King for what he did to Silverbolt! Yeah, try saying that to Ultra Magnus and he'll arrest you, fine you, and give you a criminal record for abusing the code. And that's just a warning. I hear Magnus has even sent one of his former magistrates to court for lettering in a public place. And you don't even want to know his opinion on revenge. Just don't make this personal, Roadbuster. Yeah, we'll see about that. Boy, Magnus, need to tell you something. Oh, dear, Roadbuster. Oh, Sideswipe, wow. I love the new look. Thanks, B. Thought I'd do what some of the others are doing and update my disguise. Change my colors like you did, too. Nice. This suits you. I also got these cool flare guns, too. Figured it was time for an upgrade. Blue and yellow color scheme. Not like he got that from me at all. Won't lie though, those guns look pretty cool. What are you thinking about, RC? I know it was years ago, but... When Megatron had you and I captive, when we went to revive Cybertron, before... Uh, I'm just thinking if we could have done anything else to save our world. Look at us now! Whether it's by Decepticon hands, or deprived of the Allspark's Energon, we're all doomed anyway. Oh, RC. We'll see Cybertron again. Well, I mean, not sure when, but we'll see it again. And I know this mission is going to be the last time we see the Allspark ever again, but we gotta do what's right for planet Earth, for the human race. I wish I had your enthusiasm, Cliffjumper. Hmm. These things don't look too bad. Oh man, I am so motivated. I mean, I know I lack experience and I've never really done much in my life, but being on an Autobot team with Optimus Prime, what are the odds, right? Yes. One as respectable as Optimus Prime makes it such an honor to be on his team. It is why I turned my back on the Decepticons and changed sides to the Autobots. Did you ever meet Megatron, Starscream, The Fallen? Oh Drift, I want to hear all about your Decepticon past. No, you really don't, Longarm. Anyway, I better take this crate of metal to the ship room for repairs. See you there, Drift. Yes, I have something to take care of too. I'll meet you there in ten minutes. Okay, see you later, buddy. Oh man, that bot, I love him. Starscream, Makeshift has imposed as one of the Autobots now. He's in. Perfect! The time approaches, Decepticons! Soon Makeshift will report the Autobots' plans to us! And we will reign supreme! It is done, Mr. President. My Autobot team is ready for launch. Great news, Optimus Prime. Let the mission begin. I sense your concern for this mission, Optimus. Do not worry. We will be in radio contact every step of the way. I did a planetary scan. No Decepticons have been detected, so you shouldn't encounter any resistance once you're in orbit. Hopefully, this mission will be as easy as Wheeljack made out. I... Uh, this mission is paramount, Optimus. I don't know what to say other than, I won't let you down. Just come home in one piece, Ultra Magnus. Good luck. 
Thank you, Ironhide. Safe travels, old friend. Please be safe. Oh, and I'll arrest Roadbuster for abusive language and threats against the Autobot Code when the mission's over. For now, I have need of him. To all are one! This is the Autobot Xanthia. We've reached orbit. No going back now. Hold on to your tailpipes, boys. Autobots, this is the most important mission since we've left Cybertron. Today we send the precious Allspark into a space bridge to prevent the Decepticons from capturing it. And we must accomplish this no matter what the cost. Some of us are close. Some of us break the rules. But we are Autobots first and foremost. And this is a mission we must die for. So, to all are one! <coughs> Starscream, come in. This is Makeshift. The Exanthium has gotten into Earth's orbit. The mission is a go. Good. Plant the explosives next to the Xanthium's power core. Starscream out. The time is now, Decepticons! Prepare for the assault! It won't be long before we are detected. Soundwave! Prepare the missile launchers and target the Xanthium's defense cannons! Attack, sir! The Nemesis! It came from nowhere! How? The Nemesis must have hidden its approach behind the moon! Shields are holding for now, but it's only a matter of time before they break! Ultra Magnus to Earth! We're under attack from the Nemesis! They came out of nowhere. Don't know how long we'll. What's going on? The ship's shields and communications. They've gone! What? How? We've lost contact. There is only one possibility. That both the shield and the communication radar both fail at the exact same time. Sabotage. <gasps> Predacons! Deploy and eliminate those cannons! Yes, my lord. Leave your post and go to counter those Predacons on the top deck! Braun, Bumblebee, come in. Proceed to the Xanthium's power core. I have a feeling that's going to be an area that may be vulnerable and a possible target to the enemy. Yes, sir. Sideswipe, you go with them. But, sir, you can't fly the ship all by yourself. That's an order! Go! Sir. Autobots! 
It's time for the rest of us to do our part. Decepticons, attack! This is your last fight, Autobot. Tell me, how does it feel to know you're about to join Silverbolt in the Allspark? Uh, that's a question you should ask yourself. And don't ever mention his name! Get dragged! Opening Space Bridge now. Optimus. If you do somehow read me, I'm so, so sorry. Sideswipe, glad to see you. Ultra Magnus sent me here. He thinks the Decepticons will infiltrate and attack the Power Core. If the power core goes down, the ship goes down and this mission's as good as over. That's not gonna happen. Trust me. Just be on your guard and... Wait. What's... Scrap. Take cover, now! <laughs> Come in! Please! Does anyone read me? They don't. But I do. How do you get in here? Don't worry. I'll make sure I tell your comrades your final words before I kill them too. the all spark answer me you little star screen knows what you're up to it's not gonna work you're all dead
Adepticons outnumber us! We're going to be surrounded sooner or later! Ultra Maddox is not allowed to see all of our countdown anytime soon! This mission is going to be good as over! Where are the Wreckers? They were supposed to be on the top deck with us! The Exanthium's top deck weapons are scrap. Our only chance of repelling this assault is to face them head on! Oh. Oh, RC! Give me a status update! Communications between the Xanthium and Earth are gone, and internal communications are weak. Primus knows where the Wreckers are. It's not like them to abandon their post. They must have been pushed back from their positions by the Predacons before we arrived to assist them. I've not been able to contact Ultra Magnus. I, I think he's- He's not dead! I tell you that now, Ultra Magnus is one tough- Chiron! <laughs> Where's the old spark, Autobots? Ah, there it is. The old spark. We must give chase. Let's go, Decepticons. Get away! We gotta prevent as many Decepticons as we can from flying after it! Come on, Mudflap! This is our time to shine! Heck yeah! <laughs> <laughs> this is almost as good as the time when we welded Prowl's hands together back on Cybertron, Mudflap! Oh yeah! I remember that class! Let's go, Autobots! Everything we've got, we may yet pull this thing back. That hurts, and I hate getting hurt. Better get used to it, because you're fighting me now. Uh, Autobots talk too much. You should have stayed at home. We're all fighting to save the planet you were created on, you half-wit! You're fast, Rippy. But you're no match for Prime. The old spark is mine. Decepticons, retreat! The mission is over! Retreat! Uh. Autobots, push again while we have the advantage. Oh man, oh man, oh man. RC, Skids, Mudflap, with me. We're going to the control center to check on Ultra Magnus. And there may be still Decepticons inside the ship. The rest of you, I wanted you to take out as many Decepticons as possible. Tell all our one! Lord Starscream? Any of you know what we just lost? No, I didn't think so. Because if you did, I wouldn't have been the only one who gave chase! Thundercracker gave chase to the Allspark too, and where is he? You all retreated to the first sign of defeat, like the vermin cowards you all are! You left behind the only one of you that gave chase and tried to do something! 
You are all unfit to be called Decepticons. Apologies, my lord. I have failed. Plan B. Wipe out the rest of the Autobots. Soundwave, power up the Nemesis' fusion cannons to maximum power and target the Xanthium Center where Makeshift planted the bomb. Rip the Xanthium in two. But Makeshift still aboard the Xanthium. He is expendable like you and the rest of your cult that remain loyal to him. Megatron is a dead Starscream. I saw him die. You saw him die. We all saw him die. He's gone. And he's far better left in the past where he belongs. Soundwave, are those cannons ready or what? I'm starting to rust here. Cannons are at 90% charge. To the rest of you who continue to remain loyal to Megatron, word of advice, don't. He's dead. And if you all continue to disobey me, you'll be too. But Megatron... <laughs> Spawn in Unicron. He didn't have to do that. Fusion cannons charged. Fire! Ultra Magnus! <clears throat> I'm okay, but. Predaking. He escaped. Did you see him? No, we didn't. But it doesn't matter. You're hurt. We have a lot of casualties to care for. Who? RC. So far, we've got you and myself sustaining heavy injuries. Uh, Hot Rod was blasted away from the Xanthian's gravitational field and is currently MIA. No one has seen long arms since the battle began, and due to his lack of experience, we're fearing the worst. Bumblebee, Braun, and Sideswipe were all next to the power core when it... I think they're... I mean, they have to be dead. We don't know that, RC. Mudflap and I will go find him now, won't we, Mudflap? Yeah, let's get on it! Wait. Do, do you hear that? By the primes. But I scanned for Decepticons before they even set off. Oh, it's all over. How? It's all over. No, it can't be. Maybe the Allspark was sent through the space bridge in time. Maybe. Ratchet, Wheeljack, find the point of impact that the end of a ship is heading for and clear the area. We need to save whoever we can. Now it is time to return and see what that idiot Starscream has done to my Decepticons. Now all this space bridge needs to power up is a source of power. And there's no power like a good old Cybertronian spark. 
I know you've kept me sane the many months I've been here, but right now you're the expendable warrior, and right now I'm the one who has the need to live on. Remember my sacrifice, Lord Bay. 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 I appreciate everything you've told me, my loyal Decepticon. Everything he's been doing behind my back. I guess it was a stroke of luck that I was transported here after my apparent death and found you out of everyone. You, his lab partner. I will punish the traitors that planned my downfall. You have been redeemed, my Decepticon, but not forgiven for helping his committed offense. Thank, thank you. All hail Megatron. Farewell, my Decepticon. You will be remembered. Idea what's about to go down. We are to attack the rest of the Autobots and their ship while they're taken by surprise, and then kill every one of them on Earth. We failed to capture the Allspark, but we can still drain the Earth of its resources. Oh, really, Starscream? So, what happens when something goes wrong? And what happens when the Autobots rebel our attack again? You're a pretender to that throne, Starscream! I say now's the time we remove him from that throne. Yeah, let's kill him! Yeah, I've been dying to kill something. And Starscream will most certainly do. No one's going to fight anybody. How dare you rebel against Starscream! Here's our true leader! Stand down, you traitors. You are no Megatron, Starscream. We serve Megatron, not you, Starscream. These idiots who are still loyal to Megatron will pose a problem soon enough. I say we end them right here, right now. Decepticons, stand down before I- Shut it, Starscream! I'm taking control of the Decepticon army now. You had your reign. Barricade? You couldn't even control a scraplet. How do you expect to control an entire army? Lower your gun and surrender before I kill you. Silence, Starscream! Megatron is our rightful leader, and until he returns, I'm in charge! I don't think so, Barricade. Stand down before I... 